What's good everybody and welcome to Revival Recolonization. For those of you who are new, I'm Katmandu. In this video we're going to check out this game. It's now been given a full release. We did play this game way back in June the 28th, 2021. Um, and then exactly two years later, so obviously the 28th of June this year, is being given a full release. So it's been two years in early access, I guess. Um, I think it's still in early access, uh, as it says here. Obviously, they're still actively developing it. It's just been given a full release, basically. Um, so yeah, but I really, really liked what I'd seen in the first video we did when we had a little first look at the game. I just wanted to see how the game's progressed, and it looks like it's progressed very, very well. So I'm really, really excited to play this game. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you do, smash that like button and subscribe for me if you haven't already. Both the likes and subscribes really do help the channel out massively, guys. We're getting so close to a 1,000 subs, uh, and I really need your guys' help to just hit that sub button. Just give me that final push over the line. That's my goal for this year is to get a 1,000 subs. So if you could help me out, I'd really, really appreciate it. Uh, if you guys would like to get in touch with me, in the description down below is all my contact details, so you go check it all out. As well as commenting on the videos, it's probably the easiest form of contacting me. Comment on the videos, let me know what you thought of the game, let me know what you think of the channel, anything I can improve on, any future games you want me to play. Uh, just put it all in the comments down below. Um, yeah, if you want to hit that notification bell as well, then you guys will get notified when we upload a video or when we live stream as well. So it's a very handy little tool. Um, yeah, I just want to read quickly as well, on Steam... The game reads up as, set in a post-apocalyptic version of Earth, Revival is a 4x strategy game where the world and its ruins are cha uh, can change at, at key moments, creating a deep and highly replayable experience. And that's it, that's all it says. Um, so it has got survival elements in the game as well, so as you obviously will see as we go along with the game. Uh, it's developed and published by HeroCraft PC. So I want to give a massive shout out to them because they sent me a key really, really early to check the game out, so I really do appreciate that. Um, and without further ado, let's just stop yapping and start playing. I'm going to do the tutorial just to play through the game with you guys just to show you the tutorial. And then obviously if you guys like what you see, you can go and purchase the game, start a new game, play it for yourself. So yeah, without further ado, let's start the tutorial. Let's have a look. Marksman, ranged infantry. Oh, oh sorry. Amidst the light of a thousand stars falling from the sky. I heard the voice of a god created in our own image. And when the All Mind spoke, the earth I knew was no more. Wow, okay, so that was a nice little intro, I quite like that. Uh, welcome, Revival is a turn-based strategy game set in a post-apocalyptic version of Earth. The game uses a dynamic tooltip system, try hovering over blue-coloured text. Okay, whoa. Tanya Olazar, dying planets, all this chaos, tell me this is a bad dream. Clam. Oh, but it's all true, my dear, I'm so sorry. What's going on here, Clam? The wake up protocol has been activated. There are signs of human activity nearby. I've marked the target location on the map, but there is one, uh, what's that, Cavate? I'm unable to contact, connect to any of the global networks. We'll worry about that later. As Dad used to say, most problems can be solved by simply getting off the couch. Time to meet the locals. Okay, here we go. So this is us. Using the left mouse button, click on the emissary to take control of them an emissary is your avatar in the world of revival in addition to the ability to found their own faction the emissary has access to a variety of useful technologies and skills so as you guys can see straight off the bat it has very much like a uh, civilization vibes uh, but i guess more set in a fantasy futuristic type world so yeah it's a very very cool setting um so we can left click i think i did left click Using the left mouse button, click on the emissary. I am trying to. Oh, right, uh, right click on the hex to order your emissary to move towards it. Okay. Green waypoints indicate that a unit has enough movement points to reach their destination on the current turn. Right, um, right click 
on the highlighted location to finalize your order and send the unit there. Okay. Revival is a turn-based strategy where your actions do, uh, where you take actions during your turn. There are no actions available at the moment, so click on the highlighted button to end your turn. Okay. Movement points determine how far a unit can move during their turn. Some types of terrain, rocks, trees, swamps, glaciers, cracks, require more MP to overcome or block all movement. Mountain seas. Okay. If there are stone swamps, forests on a single hex, then their cost in MP is summed up. A unit will need many more movement points to cross this hex. Okay. Keep moving. So left click, right click. Oh, the Skyborn. Greetings, Chosen One. I'm Chief Gunmal. The Celestials have finally relented and sent you here. With your aid, the clan will cope with the disasters that have fallen on our heads. Good day to you, Chief. How can I help? Steel Knights came to our lands, and with them came the cold. Before we realised it, most of the crops died. Then came the raiding parties of the Blessed Brothers, our dear neighbours. May they all burn in the blue flames. Steel Knights, Blessed Brothers. I'm sorry, Gunmal. I've woken... I've woken up after a long, long sleep, and strange as it may sound, I'm exhausted, so please stick to the point. What is there to discuss? In your hands you hold a staff of the Ancient Ones. Whilst your companion is surely the Celestial's creation, they sent you to ward off trouble from the sky uh, from the Skyborn. I humbly yield the right to lead this clan. Okay, this is a clan settlement. You need to become the leader of the Skyborn in order to establish your own faction and build a town. Okay, left click, right click. Wow, okay. Each clan belongs to one of five peoples. They are uh, predisposed to living in one of the following climates. Cold, cool temperatures, hot, and desert. Okay, so you've got people of the Arctic, people of the plains, people of the desert. And then obviously you've got clans underneath that, okay. But your choice is determined not only by climate, uh, the culture of your faction, its politics, special weapons, unique buildings, and sciences also depend on the selected clan. Okay. A clan with the children of the vault, folk trait, has a prospen uh, pro what's that? propensity for knowledge. Descendants of the one civilized townspeople that survived the cataclysm in an underground bunker, members of this clan remember a lot of things about the beautiful world of the past. Its technologies comparable to miracles. Oh, okay. In addition to a folk trait, each clan has three clan traits that define their cultural and social composition. Clan traits affect uh, your relations with neighbours. For example, the lawman will not tolerate clans with the thieves, killers, traits, whilst farmers and philosophers do not want to live next to savages. Okay, that makes sense. So we're basically the hunter-gatherers, woodman hunter-gatherers, okay. Uh, there are also penalties and bonuses associated with folk and clan traits. For example, the Children of the Vault trait includes a debuff that makes the clan weaker on the battlefield. The descendants of townspeople aren't as battle-hardened as their counterparts who live in harsher climates. Okay, that makes sense. You, like, you do have, like, sort of like what you have with uh, civilization. Where you have science, you've got food, production, hit points. We've got a minus for hit points. Okay, but we're plus five on science, so excellent. Press the highlighted button to become the leader of the Skyborn clan. Okay, congratulations on the promotion. What shall I call you now? Oh, Tamer of the Wilds. Very funny. Now tell me how to turn this village into a real city. By means of high-tech wizardry, of course, our cryo capsule contains all of the necessary gadgets. Check your pockets and let the progress unfold. Okay, click on the build town button. The green marker shows an optimal spot for building a town. It is best to build towns in the home climate of your clan and on hexes that have a high yield of basic resources. Okay, so why there then? Obviously it's got good for food, but this one's good. That one seems better for food, so why that one exactly? Uh, the town currently consists of seven hexes. Oh, okay. Here you can build specialised districts and hire an army. With the construction of the first town, a faction also gains access to the study of new sciences and edicts. Okay. It reminds me a little bit of... Um, I know it's not as like it, I guess, but it does remind me a little bit of um, um, Stellaris as well. A little bit. A bit Stellaris civilization mix. The highlighted row displays how much of each basic resource is generated by the town. 
Okay. So I guess that's food, production, gold, science. Not sure what that one is. What is that? I can't see yet. Okay. Various districts can be constructed on the town's territory, which increase the amount of resources gathered. Okay, yeah, food on that and that. Yeah, okay. And the town is founded. Now we can further expand it. Okay, the town of Maul. Okay. Clam, it's not enough just to make these people life easier. We should support their strive for progress, not give them new shiny toys. Let's begin with the construction of the science district. Okay. Uh, build a science district in order to increase the amount of science points generated by this town per turn. Okay. So what... I just wanted to click on the others, but I can't. Okay, so let's build that. Uh, obviously, on the on the tile where there's there's science, obviously. The production uh, the production queue displays the districts and units scheduled for production in a town, along with the time required for their construction. The speed of construction depends on production points, which are generated by certain hexes in the region the town is built in, as well as special structures such as industrial districts and foundries. Okay, the total number of citizens is displayed here. So what? How many is that? Each citizen yields uh, each citizen yields ten units of food, production, money, or science if placed in the corresponding slot of the town interface. Okay, you can speed up construction by moving a citizen to the production cell. The citizens will ge generate ten units of production per turn instead of ten units of food. Oh, okay, interesting. Yeah, so we move. We can move him into here. Ooh. Note that the number of turns required for the construction of the science district has decreased. Yeah, it went down to four. Interesting. Okay. Founding a town is a good first step, but without food, the clan's population will stagnate. A worker shortage were, would not be optimum. I recommend building an agricultural district. We are lucky to have the Skyborn. The clan members show curiosity and craving for everything new. Teaching them the basics of agriculture won't be a problem. Okay, click on the button to open the sign screen. Wow, okay, I love, you know me, I love tech trees. I love nice in-depth tech trees, man, love it. Especially when there's loads of stuff to, to research as well, man. Makes, makes for an interesting playthrough. This screen displays all of the sciences available for research. The technological development of your faction is achieved through the study of sciences which unlock new military units, town buildings and other improvements. Okay, agriculture. Click on the agriculture science icon. By learning this science, you will be able to build agricultural districts which increase the amount of food produced by the town. Okay. Researching sciences takes a certain amount of turns. Research speed depends on the amount of science points generated by your town every turn. Okay. Can we zoom? Oh wow, look how far we can zoom in, man. That's cool. How far can we zoom out? Okay, pretty, pretty, pretty decent. Okay. Uh, the town generates a fixed amount of resources each turn. Time to press the end turn button. Okay, okay. Chosen one. I've seen steel ones change the surrounding climate using special capsules. Your staff contains the extraordinary power of the celestials. We can use it to restore our lands and make them habitable again. It seems that the capsules are a signal amplifier. They somehow communicate with the planetary control network theoretically. I could use the staff to send a signal to a capsule with a command to initialize the terraforming process. What do you think, Clam? These technologies, like all the other edicts, were controlled by the All Mind. If the planetary control network is still active, the rogue AI hasn't disappeared completely. The wisest course of action would be to give up on this idea and lie low until the situation is clear. I'm not leaving our people th to their fate, Clam. Their lives have just started to get better. Then go ahead, my dear. As Silas Olazar used to say, we'll cross this bridge when we come to it. Okay, interesting. Why is she move? I didn't move you. It's time to change your region's climate to a more favourable one. Your town receives resources from all hexes in the region, providing that they have home climate of your faction. Place a specific edict capsule called Infrared Heat on the game map. Alright, you might be able to hear my phone ringing in the background. We'll just leave it. Just leave it. Leave it. Uh, okay, so how do we do that then? Place a capsule, yep. Uh, select the infrared edicts. Place it there. Okay. Is that launch? 
click on this button of launch. What is that? I'm guessing that's power. So that terraforms it, I guess. Press to end turn. Kind of magic. Use an edict for the first time. I just got an achievement there. All hexes in a region that have your faction's home climate can contribute resources to the town. The more hexes have your home climate, the more resources the town will receive. Okay, interesting. Set your clan's home climate temperate on three or more hexes. Okay. So I need to set, I need to put some more of them down then. What's that? What does that mean exactly? Give me a hint. Select your emissary by left clicking on them. Oh, I see what we've got to do. So we've got to move. Use your mysteries, place a capsule ability. Select the required edict by left clicking. Place it there. Press the launch button. We did it. After all the trials, the Skyborn are truly blessed. Okay, I did understand that. I just wanted to go through the hints just to make sure I, I, I make sure I understood it. There is still much I can do, obviously my phone ringing was putting me off to be fair. <laughs> there is still much I can do for the clan Gunmal, but first I need to find out what happened to Earth and the colonies on other planets. Not far from here, and ancient ruins that contain knowledge of the Celestials, I've only been able to decipher bits of information, but you two can do a better job than an old man. Only bring a few warriors with you. Hey Yoki, wake up. Oh look at this bad boy. Here, rest assured, Chief. I'll take care of the chosen one. Okay, look at my man. It's time to create an army. Select a unit and right click on the emirate to unite them. Okay, I'd like to be able to move. Okay. Like that. So you got it's like you gotta click on the hex, not the actual person. Click on the hex that the person's standing on. That's what I've just figured out there. Steel ones, if we get any close oh that's them. Okay. Uh steel ones, if we get any closer they'll attack. You don't want to be in their clutches, chosen one. Interesting. The all mine created automatons were trying when trying to prove its superiority over humans, but it never gave them free will. Be careful, Tanya. Who knows what could have reactivated them after the cataclysm. We need information. Onward. So what do we do? Right right click to attack the enemy unit. Do we really want to do this? Units belonging to the attacking army. Here, yeah. Units belonging to the defending army. A crushing victory. Okay, so we should win. Okay, what happened there? Oh, it's like battle. Oh, okay. You actually get like a battle time. Combat occurs within a limited space. The first turn is given to the army that initiated the battle. Your available troops are displayed here. Okay. Enemy troops and reinforcements are displayed here. Before the battle begins, you can place your troops on the hexes highlighted in blue. It is advisable to move melee units closer to the enemy. Range units are best kept at a distance from enemy units. Oh mate, this is just this is just ramp things up a little bit. This is, this is great. Okay, so you move the unit to the highlighted hex by clicking on it with the right mouse button. Okay, so you go there. Oh, okay, hang on a minute. A unit gains extra protection against ranged attacks when adjacent to cover. Oh. Each piece of cover on an adjacent hex adds plus one to protection. Interesting. Left click. <clears throat> When in the home climate, a unit gains plus one health at the end of each round. In a hostile climate, they lose one. Okay. We need to stay clear of cold. Once your, your units are deployed, click on the begin the battle button. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, I'm good. Okay. Telling me to overhead shot this guy. I think it's telling me to hold position, shooting overhead even if the target is not in direct line of sight. Um, it's not allowing me maybe move forward a bit. It's not allowing me to do anything. I think I just messed up. Hold position. Hold position. Ow. A unit stationed in a forest becomes invisible to ranged weapons attacks if there are no enemy units on adjacent hexes. Oh, okay. I'm not seeing no forest though. Can be shot through, can be destroyed, explosion damage three. Okay. Oh, so we need you. Your unit is temporarily electrocuted. They cannot move in this state, but are unable, but are able to attack if an enemy unit is in range. Oh, okay. So I can still attack you, right? No, you. Him down. Can we shoot you? Pow! 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 Who's, who's this guy? Okay, well you're... You need to come out. Uh, you can... Ho I would like you to hold position, really. So electrocuting me, man. Move you up. Have we finish that guy? You can hold. Yeah, I need to move you somewhere. Get you some protection on. Oh! Good job. The unit is on fire, their health will be reduced at the end of each turn. To get rid of this status, direct the unit towards a hex with a marsh or on it or shower it with rain using an edict. Yeah, how do I know where a marsh is though? Probably over here somewhere. Let's just take it down bro. Uh, you can hold. Hold. Yeah, I mean, I ain't gonna lie, we're probably gonna lose people. That was, I, I know that was rubbish. <laughs> that was really rubbish of me, but we, we'll learn as we go. I'm not too worried. Defeating uh, automations, net you. I think that's energy, yeah. Energy and diamonds. Okay, excellent. You found an old batch, uh, an old car battery. Thirty lead was scavenged. Okay. Oh wow! Look at this. No cutscene. Cool. There are good and bad news. I'll start with the good ones. Despite the rather primitive structure, the data storage device is in working order. And the bad news? The United Government of the Earth Colonies does not exist, nor do the uh, Space Forces. Communications with other planets has been lost since the All Mines Uprising and the ensuing Cataclysm, which happened about 1,000 years ago. This, this is impossible. The Wake Up Protocol should have triggered much earlier. 
The whole point of preserving our team was to help uh, eliminate the consequences of the uprising as soon as the situation stabilised. The All Mind could disrupt the protocol. The AI had more than enough power. You don't understand, Clam. We're several portal connections between the planets that made up the AI's neural network. Hundreds of these connections were destroyed in an instant, and the All Mind plunged into utter insanity. It wouldn't be able to make a rational decision even if it wanted to. I've just tried the model. Uh, I've just tried to model this situation. You are right. Let's return to the settlement. I need to think things through. Okay, you have successfully completed the current version of the tutorial. Revival has actively been developed, so more content and a full-on tutorial will be added in future updates. Click OK to go to the main menu. Okay, interesting. So what I'll do is I've got about five minutes left, so we can start a new game. Let's go difficulty normal, game speed. I want to go fast. Map type. Oh, Pangea. We can go Pangea. Let's do random. Map size standard, I guess. Keep everything standard, I guess. Yeah, let's do Tano. He looks sick. We'll choose Tano. Start game. I'll try to be quite quick because obviously I've only got a few minutes left. Okay, so here we go. We are Tan. We are Tano. Right. So find a settlement. Activate your drone's auto recon ability. Oh! Snap, I went the wrong way, son. Select your mercenary by left clicking on him. Yeah, I don't want to go that way. I didn't mean to go this way, I don't think. I don't know what these are. That's Children of the Wasteland. We'll go over here. Establish contact with a clam. Okay, so let's, let's read through. We get some reputation at the end of each turn. One damage. One hit points. What are we here? Savages. The all mine cluster uh, cultists. Survivalists. Uh, keep looking. Nah, I don't want any of that. I feel like we want to go back this way. There we go. Oh! Yeah, I'm out of turns. I'm out of turns, bro. Hang on a sec. Why are all these things around, man? I don't want... I don't want to go to them. Orders of Assassins. What is this thing? Blazing Tree of Ancestors. How far can we go? Abandoned Terminal. Okay. Wow, I've just seen loads. Whoa, who's that? Back off now, you here? Establish contact with the clan. Lawmen, militarists, luddies. What's this mean? These people know many secrets of electric current. Traditionally, they don't get along with the tin... Tinsmen? Tinsmiths? I'm stupid. Okay. These people do not believe in technical progress. Oh, what? These people are always eager to fight. Lawmen. I don't know if I want them either. I'm gonna lie. Who's this guy? Some more bots there. Uh, shall we continue on? I think it might be best to continue on here. Oh, I can see another place up here. Okay, it's in turn. It's the end of the camp right here. You dare do it. Oh, 
Hunt and savage murderers. These people are known cutthroats and murderers. These people have gone completely feral. They fight well, but they mistreat equipment and animals. Yeah, see, I don't want that either, man. Come on, now. Give me a good, give me a good place to set up camp, man. This is looking promising. What is this over here, though? Ah, oh, someone's already, someone's already over here. Oh, mate, this is not looking good. Yeah, someone's already over here, dude. Um... I'm a little worried because I'm not finding anything here. Oh, we can't really make that anymore, no? Recon drone ran out of energy and went to maintenance mode. Okay. Children of the Vault, here we go. Descendants of the once civilized townspeople, not particularly versed in military affairs, were always happy to build the civilization anew. These people are serious interested in science. These people are always eager to fight. There we go. This is what I want, yep. Let's lead these. Left click, right click. Merge into a single army. The combined army will have 2.9 movement points remaining. Okay. Um, how do we build a town? Here we go. Um, bad spot. Ah, damn. Bad spot. That's a good spot. Food and it's food and power. I'm going there. That's probably a bad spot, but because we've got a building here. Oh, I think I've run out of turns. I think my thing's gone as well. My little drone. In two turns you'll be able to launch Empire. What was that? I didn't even read that. What'd you say? Why don't it let me build? What's that? Mursp? In the town of Mursp. Okay. Obviously it's not great. We're very sandwiched in with other places here. So it's not, I'm not going to lie, it's not great. But <clears throat> it's a start. Unit panel. Right, how do we? I can't remember how to build. Why is this already in blue? Is this because this is all mine? Probably chose a bad place to build here, but I'm trying to build. I thought it was this one. Oh no, I know what we need to do. We need to like research something first, don't we? Uh, oh no, hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Here, look. Open the town screen by left clicking on the town. Yeah, click on that. Oh, there we go. Industrial district. Good one there. Wait for the indicated. Okay. So about re we can resign a citizen, can't we? Like that. Okay. Yep, that's done. 
Uh, drag the citizen from the production slot to the food slot, so they will generate 10 units of food instead of 10 units of production. Okay, yeah, I've done that. Once you've selected an army, right click on the ruins whether you want me to hide in. Uh, I don't know if I really want to do that just yet. Do we do it? I'd rather... Okay. I might go for a quick battle here. Uh, defeating automatons nets you... Okay, we've got some good stuff there. Excellent. You found an old quartz lamp. Interesting. Reassigning citizens. Drag the citizen from the production slot to the food slot. I did that. Yeah, that's done. Select the worker. Select the worker in the list of units you can produce. You can scroll the list with the mouse wheel. What? I keep reassigning this, but it's not working. Learn the earthquake edict. Left click the Earthquake Level 1 Edict to add it to the research queue. Where is that? Wow, what is this? Where the hell is the Earthquake Edict? Infrared heat, cryogenic burst, acid, artificial earthquake edict. Okay. Then that. Resign a citizen. I, I did it, man. Look. Boom. Boom. Done. Alright, let's end turn. Okay, let's end turn again. The clan, the clan of children of the wastelands attacked your town. Better not. A crushing victory. Quick battle. Better back off. Edict high gravity flux level 1 has been unlocked. Beginning the study of the edict ultrasonic boom. Okay. Who's hiding in here then? Hollow theatre. What the hell is that? Speed up production. Find the item in question in the production queue and press the speed up production button. Wait for the next turn for the production to be finished. I don't know, that's clicking on that. What the hell is that? I can't. Can't do that one. Build a shaman. Okay. So why is it just flicked up with the science tree for? You come back off that set because I don't know what that is. Let's limit these down. We do that or? Maybe that? I don't, I don't know what I'm doing here. I really don't know what I'm doing. Worker. Just speed them up, I guess. <clears throat> I'm going to click on that as well, just to try and get that going. Um, but unfortunately guys that is going to do it obviously I did say it was supposed to be just like a little short thing here but we've actually ended up going longer um, okay that's fine can we move you back merge into a single army yeah sure just do it there's no space left in the army well, who are you then you're a shaman aren't you well, can you just move over there so I can come back in okay excellent 
Right, yeah, like I said, guys, unfortunately, that is going to do it for this episode. I have run out of time. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it, man. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe for me if you haven't already. Uh, both the likes and subscribes really do help the channel out massively. So, if you could show your support, man, I'd really, really appreciate it. My guy's nearly dead. So, that's not great. But, yeah, like I said, hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. I still don't really know what I'm doing, to be honest. Um, even though I sort of should... <laughs> Because we did the tutorial, but we'll learn it as we go. If you want to guys want to see more as well, please hit that like button and comment down below. And let me let me know if you guys want to see more. Um, if you guys would like to get in touch with me, in the description down below is all my contact details. Go check it all out. Uh, if you want to hit that notification bell as well, then you guys will get notified when we upload a video when we live stream. Until the next time, have a good one. Stay safe out there. Peace out.